Welcome to our channel www.news.co.id Hello guys, meet with me again in new CNC channel. Okay, in the last video, we have learning about using array in Visual Basic. Now, I'm gonna show you how we can using function and reference in Visual Basic programming. For the tutorial, uh, I will create new project. Still loading guys and be waiting for the program execute, okay? Like usually, I choose Windows Phone application for Visual Basic and then uh, I will give the name of my application is using function and parameter like this okay I click OK in here in this video tutorial I will show you with very simple example so we can uh, explore later in in the future or in the advance still creating project we waiting for all have done okay uh, because uh, we are too many uh, using text box for example in this video I will try to using combo box so we don't board with uh, text box and button okay I will try to combo box and in this combo box I will change the font size okay I will change the font size so uh, the result is more catchy to eye okay i will click and like usually i i need one button in here and then i will change the text of this button to use function for example like this okay I will make this uh, line middle like this. Eh, I'm sorry, guys. I think it's a line center like this. And then, uh, before I show you how to create the function, I will uh, add the items in combo box with the name of people. I will choose three the name. And to add item in combo box, you can do like this so uh, if you use with the comment will more short and clean okay the first name I will choose Steve in the second name I will uh, I will choose John in the last in the three i will uh, give the name is for example steve john and harry like this for example okay have done i'm trying to show the result this is not function guys this is just uh, adding the combo box one item so uh I will create some experiment with this using function. Before that, uh, I will show you how to add item using with combo box in here. This is Steve, John, and Harry. Okay, and now uh, I'm gonna show you how to create the function in Visual Basic. Okay. I will more uh, I think it's 
for example like this okay i will create function uh, uh, below of the form one class function i will create test message for example like this and then i will declare one variable the message as string equal to hello for example like this and you can see here because you are here you using function so uh, we must have the return value okay so uh, we give the return to message okay guys if done the the script will not work okay and then uh, after this we double click in this button so in this button i will call the function okay i will cut here i try to move this script in below of function so you can see more clearly okay i will call uh, team i will declare some variable team message for example i will i add at c because uh, for you don't confuse guys okay S string and miss it in here equal to the function in here okay test midgets in this case you can see guys and uh, i will show show the message with function using music block in here missing block that's show i will call the message okay guys like this and now i'm trying to running this project and click the button one and we will see the result you can see hello okay it works to call the function test message this is very simple but uh, i will uh, make it's more difficult okay in here i will create by file reference and the temporary reference name is my name for example my name or my name okay yes my name okay has string and in here i will uh, show you uh, why why this function is not work after we adding by file and my name as reference in here or i think parameter guys not not reference sorry sorry okay I mean parameter because uh, we don't call anything for parameter and then I need to declare uh, names for example a string and then uh, the parameter I will create is names equal to combo box one dot text show i will call the name of people in this case i will call the names in here so uh, i will trying to running this project and see it works or not if your logic is if your logic you can see here the message is equal to test message in here in the function okay and the names in here is equal to combo box one dot text 
because you don't call the my name in here the name people of combo box one dot text will done so let let we see if i choose steve there is nothing hello steve because you don't call the reference in here parameter i, I mean i'm sorry i always uh, mistake to call parameter with reference okay my name this parameter because you don't call in the function so uh, the result is not showing the name of people in cobalt box item and how how the parameter works you can call the parameter in here you can adding and and call the temporary parameter my name and then the script will call the names in here because my name parameter in here you call it okay i will running this project okay i will choose one of the name and i will click use function hello steve hello john and hello harry okay it works guys and then uh, we have done uh, practice about how use use to using function and parameter in visual basic okay uh, in the next video i will show more advanced in visual basic programming language so don't forget to subscribe my channel goodbye and see you